Byron Jones talked about the NFL saying, quote, much has changed in eight years. Today I can't run or jump because of my injuries sustained playing this game. Mm. Here we go. Do not take the pills they give you. Do not take the injections they give you. Whoa, okay. If you absolutely must, consult an outside doctor to learn the long-term implications. Big words. Mm. Sorry, I'm partisan. It was an honor and privilege to play in the NFL, but it came at a regrettable cost. I did not foresee. In my opinion, no amount of professional success or financial gain is worth avoidable chronic pain and disabilities. Wow. Godspeed to the draft class of 2023. Damn. That sounds heavy. That sounds deep. Messed up. But it also sounds personal. Here's the thing. I don't like sweeping indictments because I don't have the details. I don't know what you swept up. With the mess that you're saying that occurred, I don't know how many jewels got swept up in that mess, right? How many got washed away with that as well? Because everyone in the NFL has a different experience, but we all know there's hell to pay. It is football. You are going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt pretty bad at times. Let's just be real. Not everyone gets a surgery, but everybody going to get their bell rung. Everybody going to get their clock cleaned. Everybody going to get knocked. And maybe knocked out. I got knocked out. But the point is, you're going to know you play football. You're going to be affected. Right? You're going to know you've been in a fight, as they say in the streets. You're going to know you've been in a fight. You play in the NFL. And this sweeping indictment that the shots did it, the injections did it, the medicine did it. I want to know, if it did it, what else did you do? That doesn't mean you did something illegal. But were you? someone who was disciplined? Did you have great work habits? Did you have information on what you were taking? Like there are so many questions before I just sit there lazily and say, NFL, bad you. Now, full disclosure, part of the NFL lawsuit against the NFL for medical reasons. Because when I played, not Byron Jones, but I don't know, but we can talk Byron Jones. But when I played, oh, it was blank envelopes, baby. <laughs> when I played, we were we were taking pills and getting beer on the plane. We drank it on the plane with that with the prescription. When I played, they didn't inform you of jack. Now, well, that's when I played. Now, I know if someone sits far back, they can say, oh, that's the same NFL. But don't do that. Don't do that to the NFL. And I'm not protecting them. I'm just knowing things have changed. They got pamphlets now. They talk through it. You got your name on the actual envelope or the actual prescription, like, et cetera. Things that didn't happen when I played. I'm just older. It is what it is. So when I hear this, I'm like, one, I hope you're okay. But two, I just don't know how that's happened before for a player without their contribution. Like, if it's not a traumatic incident or accident, just deteriorates. Did you work out? Did you fight it? Work eight years, you didn't just arrive here. You journeyed here, right? You didn't just land here. You got here. I want to know how you got here. And I want to know because, one, my son likes playing football. And it would be a dream for him, I'm sure, to play in the NFL because he loves football. For me, I'm a mixed bag. I, look, Beggars can't be choosy. So if he go pro, he go pro. <laughs> but, you know, I would like him to play somewhere his fingers and his neck doesn't feel like my neck. You know, those little things. But point being, I just don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water. I don't like all these general, big, large, oh, the NFL did this. Well, the NFL may have done that to you. But even with this one, I need a little more detail because it doesn't sound like the NFL that I know today to be is the same NFL I experienced. And I wonder what your experience was.